Hi all. So today I'll show you how you can create a SLO in Dynatrace. Okay, so we have uh, different types of SLO that uh, SLO stand for service level object, right? Service level object. How you can create a SLO in Dynatrace? So we have different types of SLO. First is uh, service level availability. Service level. Service level, you can create that as well. Second, uh, single request. Request. Third one is uh, service request response time level. On the response, time level as well. Then fourth one we have called uh, synthetic monitoring. Synthetic, synthetic, synthetic SLO. Fifth, we have synthetic step SLO, right? We, when you create a browser-based monitoring, we have multiple steps, right? So some of the steps you want to understand their SLI and SLO, you can create that. So we used to call synthetic step SLO. Sixth one, we have infrastructure. Yeah, you can say real user monitoring. Monitoring level SLO. And then seventh one, we have infrastructure level. Infrastructure level SLO, okay? So how you can define that, right? So first, let's create a service level SLO. So let me go to my Dynatrace. And I will go to my, so first I let me create a service, right? So for which service I want to create, okay? So let's create, so I'm trying to create for easy travel customer front end, okay? So for this, I wanted to create a cello, for this service, I wanted to understand that on the customer front end, okay? So what is the SLO? Okay, so you can take this, copy this, and you can understand that entity ID. So entity ID is 473 start. So setting, cloud automation, setup. Okay. Then we'll go there, definition. Add new SLO. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. From here, I should not go. Let's go to our SLO page. Discard changes. Add new SLO. So let's go to that service level. So this are this uh, you can say that this kind of template we have they have given that okay so we can utilize this template okay so service level of I wanted to create right so just I'll create here and we can give that easy travel easy travel customer front end shell okay description you can define if you required okay now by default uh, this will give in that matrix right uh, so to define that percentage right so what what you can do is like uh, 100 into so you wanted to calculate in service so total success count divided by total count right and into 100 then you will get a Normalize your salary, right? So, so you'll get a complete percentage. Okay, so this metric I don't do any changes, not required. Then let's create a define a filter criteria. So mainly only here on type service or uh, entity name bracket double quote and whichever I have copied, let's paste it. Okay.
do we required? Yes, it's required. No, just keep n small. Uh, given entity is invalid. So we have, wait, wait, comma, and should be capital, okay? So now you can see that we are getting that service ID. We have that uh, 473, right? If you remember the service, we have 473, that service ID. So it is correct. We can define that uh, success criteria. So what is your target? So we can keep that 99% target. Now warning, you can say 99.99. Okay, 99 target, we can keep. target or okay so 99.98 also we can keep and we can evaluate this so you can error project we have for one percent okay and we can create that as well so this is the way you can define your SLO on the service level now second one it is like single request right so how you can define a single request level as well? So let's go one more time. Add new SLO. Now I wanted to create for a single request. Just a minute. Be a little bit more than I see in the field. Okay, so let's create uh, just a minute, guys. Let me stop recording for a few minutes. See, pause the record. So, how you can create a uh, second one is single request, right? So, let me go to my service. Open that. So already service is open. Go to view dynamic request. Okay. Now I wanted to create a cello for orange booking payment dot JSF. Okay. Yeah, calculate recommendation. Okay. So what I can do is I can click on this. First, you can mark. Okay, so we have a click recommendation. Create analysis view. Okay. Now we have this, right? So now we can create a metric for this. Okay. So let's uh, create a metric. So calculate recommendation. Okay. Median is not supported so what I need to take average you can take create a metric metric name and keep eg travel cal late late recommendation Okay, you travel a uh, calculate recommendation. Okay, create a metric. So, metric is created now. Copy this. Okay, now 
let's define go to slo wizard okay now my new slo so slo name should be you can give eg travel calculate and then recommendation okay now let's define the metric for this sorry guys just a minute one second i went this right so instead of a response time, we need a count, right? We can take a request count and we can create again. So metric name, calculate recommend, recommendation, okay? Now we have defined the metric, correct? recommendation count so calculate recommendation count calculate recommendation count so metric is created now let's go to my slo wizard calculate recommendation So now I need request count total and I need successful, correct? So we should have two types. So one we had a calculate recommendation count and I need now successful. So successful request count. Create, now we can put successful recommendation count recommendation count correct so this two we have right successful recommendation count recommendation count and we have this one now two matrix is created now go to a shallow wizard. Okay. So we can give calculate uh, recommendation SLO. SLO. Now you go to our metric. So metric, we can keep something like this 100 star bracket we can put just just we can put what was the name so we need successful just to type built-in I just should type T so we have success count right successful recommendation count bracket close Dash, bracket open, C, and we have count. 
Sehr schön. So calculate recommendation count. Total. Close the bracket. Okay. So now filter criteria is not required because already we have filtered this. Okay. So we is not required. You can put that success criteria as it is. Let's evaluate it. The section was, this section was valid, new SL is on the entered value. Calculate. Let's put sum. Now evaluate. No graph. So we have successful recommendation count. First, we have successful. Hmm. It's correct only. Hmm. So now we are getting right. So actually, I have filtered the data for last time. So now we are getting. So this is the way you can create a. Uh, let's create. So this is your single request, right? So how what you can what you can do is to create a single request as hello. So whichever service you are looking for, right? So suppose you wanted to looking for authentication service, uh, customer booking, yeah, any service, right? You go there dynamic request. So so that main service is go this. You are suppose you are looking for authenticate, right? Go click on that. You can mark as so click on that. Now create analysis view. You can create the analysis view and you need to create a two cons. Okay. So you need to create a two cons. One is just a minute. So we need so we need to create a two counts. Okay, one is a uh, successful request count and one is total request. Count, okay, so we can take one request count and one you can create a metric for this and one you can create a metric for successful. Okay, so hundred into uh, successful and divided by total, right? So you can get a percentage, correct? And then then you can create. So for this uh, success criteria is not required. Okay, and is not required, and you can create a SL. Okay. So this is the two types of SLO we have discussed. Okay. Third, we have discussed we'll discuss response time and synthetic. Okay. We'll discuss in another video. Okay. That's it for this lecture. Thank you for watching.